Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and do an update on the entire situation concerning Jelani Miraja, who is Nicki Minaj's brother, okay? Now, I know a lot of these barbs tend to get mad because people are like, oh, y'all keep attaching Nicki's name to his and vice versa. Regardless of the situation, it's her brother. It's, it's no different than when the media attached Simone Biles to her brother who was charged in a triple homicide, okay? So what's the difference? People didn't know who the hell Tevin Biles was and they attached it to her brother. And Simone Biles even came out and spoke out and apologized and said she was having a hard time processing this and how her heart ached. So it's no different. Nobody's attaching Nikki or saying that Nikki was involved or she had any prior knowledge. All we're saying is that's her brother. That's fact, period, point blank. So anyways, Nicki Minaj's brother, Jelani Mirage, who I've been reporting on since this case first hit the headlines from day one. So now the whole molestation chapter is closed. And if you guys do not know, as of yesterday, he was um, sentenced to 25 years in prison, okay, for raping his 11-year-old stepdaughter. I mean, the details of the case are just sickening. Like I said, you can go back and watch my previous videos on this situation, but um, what's also coming out is this. It's saying that Nicki Minaj asked for mercy for her brother. So this is what the article is reporting. The prosecutor said the boy unlocked a massive, ugly secret when he later revealed what he'd seen to a child protection worker after his sister sparked an investigation while talking to a school counselor. Prosecutor Emma Slane asked on Monday for the top punishment for Miraja, which he got, saying that his despicable crime cost the victim her childhood. The judge said his heart was like stone when it came to pleas of mercy for those who advocated on Mirage's behalf, which included letters from the defendant's sister and other supporters. So then they go on to share the letter. They're saying this. Nicki Minaj's letter dated September 19, 2016, describes her brother as the most patient, gentle, genuine, giving, selfless man she's known and someone who came to my mother's rescue often when she endured domestic violence so that she and I could sleep peacefully at night. The rapper in the letter also accused the victim's mother of trying to extort her and asked the judge to show mercy to her brother and rethink punishing him for something he did not do. So Nicki Minaj is very much tied to the case now because that letter has come out. So um, now what's going on is that basically the defense attorney, David Schwartz, he was asking for the minimum sentence of 10 years um, for his client and they denied that. So now what they're going to do, um, he speaks and you can see Nicki Minaj's mother in the background. They're basically going to fight to appeal the case. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this video clip. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And a Nassau County jury just convicted rap star Nicki Minaj's brother of rape. Prosecutors say two years ago, Jelani Mirage repeatedly raped an 11 year old girl at his Baldwin home. Mirage's attorney claims the child's mom made up the allegations. Now, the defense claimed it was a scheme to get Mirage's rock star sister, Nicki Minaj, to pay $25 million in hush money. Mirage now faces... He adamantly <laughs> maintains his innocence throughout the trial, in the probation report, through the sentencing, and through the appeal. And we're going to win on appeal. So we're going to... There was absolute juror misconduct. I want, I, I want everyone to know how how it, it, it's it's such a inherent problem in our criminal justice system for cases like this where someone is well known and they get thousands i'm sure you guys saw it there were thousands of blog articles you know blogs connected with a lot of your newspapers blogs comments you know calling him a pedophile before any piece of evidence was ever before anyone they had already made their determinations and the problem is those blogs, those articles got before the jury. There's no denying that. No matter what the judge said, the, his ruling was based on the fact that he didn't think it had a harmful effect on the jury. Certainly the jury was exposed to those articles. We proved that during the juror misconduct hearing. All right, so you guys just saw that video clip, and um, I doubt he's going to win his appeal. I don't feel bad for her brother. I don't give a damn whose brother this is, okay? This could be Barack Obama's brother. It could be my brother. I don't give a fuck. You don't mess with children, point blank, period, okay? So to me, I think this is horrible. 
and people trying to excuse this and try to say some type of conspiracy against Nikki, y'all need to sit the hell down. Y'all better go through those court records and read everything that he put that young girl through. And then the fact that the brother walked in on them, how how horrible the brother felt having to hold this secret. Those kids were when those kids went through so much abuse. It's insane. You know, and once a mother found out about it, she did break ties with them. They went through and, you know, caught the police and pressed charges. So thank goodness the mother did that as opposed to keeping it a secret because of who his sister is. Because how many mothers have we heard where they know their boyfriends are molesting their daughters or their nieces? And it's like, oh, just chalk it up. You'll be OK. Or what did you do to make him want to be attracted to you? As if a child can ever be at fault for what a grown man chooses to do to them. So I'm glad the mother stepped up and didn't care whose brother it was. And she went and she filed charges. This entire situation is sickening. You know, my heart goes out to those victims, the little girl and the little boy, because, again, he had to hold on to that deep, dark secret. So I hope they find healing from this. And I pray that they're able to move forward. This is just horrible. He took that girl's innocence. He was supposed to be protecting her as a stepfather, not helping himself to her. So I don't want to hear any excuses about, oh, you're just trying to go after Nikki and all this goofy stuff. I'm reporting the news point blank period. So now with that being said, I have to point out some things that I find really disturbing here. Now, the other day I did a video about the whole Meek Mill, Nicki Minaj situation. And I showed how the Shade Room and TMZ were not posting the full story. They were not posting the full truth about that situation. And of course, I was attacked by a lot of her fans and, you know, all this and that. And that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. But what I also find funny is that when this news came out, those same sites did not report on it. Everybody else reported on it. You didn't have to use Nikki's picture. You didn't have to attach her name to it. They, these same sites could have just said Jelani Mirage sentence. But both Neighborhood Talk, who's very good friends with Nicki Minaj, and The Shade Room, who people say is on Nicki Minaj's payroll, and that was per meek, okay? Um, neither one of them posted that. And somebody even sent me a DM showing that they had contacted The Shade Room um, because the post had just went up from TMZ at 9-11 that morning. They contacted the Shade Room, sent them the information concerning Nicki Minaj's brother. The Shade Room applied back and they said thanks. And then what was so funny is that an hour later, once the news started circulating, Nicki Minaj then took to her social media and basically um, posted. And so then Neighborhood Talk goes on. And he says, looks like Nicki Minaj is coming back out the scenes. And then the Shade Room also posted the same thing. And then Nicki Minaj basically posted the title for her new single, Nice to Meet Ya. And the Shade Room posted that as well. And they say, looks like Nicki Minaj has a little something in the works, roomies. So isn't it convenient that the Shade Room at 10.12, they posted that. And um, Kyle at 10.08, he posted that about her music. But everywhere else was posting about her brother being charged. So, you know, y'all can attack me and say whatever you want to say. But again, this is proof that the Shade Room looks out for Nikki. And that story about Meek Mill was full of shit. And this is validating everything I was saying in my video. So y'all can stay mad. It, it makes me no difference whatsoever. But with that being said, do I blame Nicki Minaj for this? Absolutely not. She had nothing to do with her brother's crimes. Those are her brother's sins, and he needs to live with that. You know, but I just find that very, very interesting because there are even old tweets that have resurfaced when Nicki Minaj was saying back in 2012, and for the record on some serious shit, I believe people who abuse children should be stoned to death in public the end. And so somebody had um, reposted that and they said Nicki Minaj has a short memory. So should your brother in 6 9 be stoned to death, too? You know, so I think this is really what caused this so-called hate train. Why a lot of people backed up off of her is because she's been silent about her brother and she's been low key supporting him. Hence the letter that's coming out. Hence, you know, going to go visit him in jail. Um Hence, you know, her mother putting up the house for bail. I think that didn't sit well with a lot of people. But as a sibling, I get it. That's her brother. That's her big brother. Who wants to believe that their brother could be that evil, that their brother would do something like that? You know, and I think that's part of that is that she just wants to believe so much that her brother is innocent. And now that he's been sentenced to 25 years, it shows that he was definitely guilty. And like I said, from jump where there's smoke, there's fire. So this whole situation is really disturbing, but I'm kind of disappointed in some of these media outlets that are purposely not trying to report just, you know, the story, just just report on it, just report on the factual 
useful information. You know, I don't think this in no way necessarily knocks Nikki, but it's just showing both sides. This is just what it is. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison, and that is her brother. That's facts. That's not shade. That's not being biased. That is facts, period, point blank. So again, for all y'all attacking me, this is proof that the shade room definitely does little things to help Nicki Minaj. But y'all keep on attacking me and calling me biased. It is what it is. I've been hearing this for the past year and a half. It makes me no difference. So anyways, I just hope that that little girl and her brother, they end up finding some healing from all of this. They get counseling because this has to be just really hard for her. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning Jelani Mirage being sentenced to 25 years. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad.